Andre, how big a victory was that for you? Well, extremely important because it keeps us in the frame and uh, it make, makes us, uh, uh, you know, within the possibility of still making Champions League. So the the, the dream is still alive for us. Uh, we don't depend on ourselves anymore, but we want to, uh, you know, we wanted to take it to the last day. Uh, you play at home and, uh, and Arsenal goes away. So uh, extremely important win because of the of the of those reasons, and uh, and you know hopefully we can be rewarded in the end with um, with a slip up. But uh, Arsenal are ever so good that uh, you know it's, it's probably going down to the wire. You had to work for it. Yeah, difficult uh, circumstances, particularly you know suffering a goal in, within uh, two minutes. Uh, uh, part of uh, Stoke's strength is their set plays. The delivery was absolutely amazing, and uh, and they managed to uh, to break us uh, down straight away. Uh, we managed to to control the other ones ever so well, but in that one we were um, we were beaten. Uh, the circumstances turned a little bit more difficult. I think you know extremely happy for for the team for the way they were patient in the game and kept the ball moving very well. Completed um, you know uh, an important number of passes, <coughs> and uh, and eventually when we got the breakthrough, uh, we managed to to invert the result. Clint Dempsey scored one and made one. How important was his contribution today? Yeah, I mean, he's been, uh, you know, a player that uh, absolutely immense this season. Not only assisting, but scoring. Uh, sometimes not deserving the the credit, but uh, a hard worker and a very competitive uh, athlete. So uh, he had an amazing game, and uh, it's uh, it's extremely good for him uh, for his, uh, you know, all, on the individual performance. You go above Arsenal now, two points clear of them with with one game to go for you. Yeah. First time in a month you've been above them in the table. Is that important psychologically? Do you think might put the pressure on them? You never know. I think uh, I think you know Arsenal are a very experienced side, and uh, I'm not sure if uh, if this factor is enough to keep to put them under more pressure for the game against Wigan. Uh, I think uh, you know what we will see is a Wigan that is very very motivated. I have to say that they've saved themselves. So uh, probably they will give him a hard game. Uh, you know, all the objectives are important for both teams. So I'll, I'll expect it at least to be a competitive game. But for us, the objective to to take this into the last uh, day of the season is uh, is still open, and uh, and that gives us more possibilities. Not sure. I mean. Uh, obviously, great m emotions and, and motivation are going through Wigan's uh, heads at the moment. Wigan's players' uh, heads. So, uh, what uh, you know, we saw the message from Dave Whelan yesterday saying that they were absolutely focused on uh, on being in the Premier League. So, I would suppose that uh, you know, from parting, their focus is uh, is immediately on uh, on trying to do a good game against Arsenal. So. Uh, it's going to be a competitive game. Obviously, Arsenal's experience is uh, is immense, and uh, you expect them to do their job too. Will you watch that game? Not sure. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we've uh, we've managed to invert uh, lots of uh, results uh, this season. Uh, good for us because you know going through the difficult. Difficulty and, and overcoming it uh, is excellent for any team's character. Uh, you know, in an ideal world, you want you don't want to to go past those difficulties. You want to score early and assume opposition. But we we've went past this season. Uh, you know, experiences that probably will enable us to um, to feel more confident towards the future when we go through it again.